break out the pieces Fix them and make them shine I will not be defeated Because this world is mine Hey guys, Bravely and I here and welcome to episode number 10 of our Pokemon Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke Challenge. Uh, if you missed the last episode, then uh, yeah, please go and check that out because a lot of stuff happened in the last episode. So yeah, please go and check that out before I spoil anything. You've got like a couple more seconds before I spoil anything of this episode. Go and watch that if you missed it. But yeah, in the last episode we did get through Rock Tunnel. Uh, but not without issues, not without a death. The uh, third death of the playthrough uh, came in the form of Trevor. Got hit by a self-destruct graveler. It sucked. Uh, but it's okay because Bill's here now. Bill is here, and uh, we are going to be we're going to be carrying on with our starter quest. But our Hoenn trio has fallen. Oh, oh well, never mind. We've got Sanders here, the level 30 Combuskin with Ember, Pack, Double Kick and Mega Kick. Nikki, the level 30 Jinx, the Confusion, Ice Punch, Water Pulse and Thief. Gex, level 30 Grovile with Leaf Blade, Dig, Mega Punch and Quick Attack. Polarity, level 30 Magneton with Spark, Thunder Wave, Tackle and Supersonic. And Bill, the level 20 Squirtle with Withdraw, Water Gun, Bite and Rapid Spin. So not a great move set on Bill, but we are gonna we're gonna hopefully change that. Still no sixth member to the party. We had a look through the the, the PC in the last episode, uh, but we couldn't find anything that I, I didn't I didn't really want to uh, to bring anything into the squad. When it's a toss up between a Venonat and an Atkins, you kind of you don't want to you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. But we didn't battle these guys north of Lavender Town. So we're going to do that. If you're excited for this episode of the Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke, I'm not going to lie to you. This is going to be a bit of filler. We're still working our way towards where the main plot of this game is going to occur in Saladon City. So, yeah, we're still working our way towards that. We're not to, we're not going to rush. We're going to take a time. We're going to battle everybody. We've got a Pokemon to train. I didn't want to do any grinding, though just to get it built up because mainly because the rest of my team is really good so we're level 30 I don't want them to get over leveled uh, I would and they would if I had to switch train to train up Bill so we're just gonna switch train on the trainers as we go which I said I wasn't gonna do but it's only one Pokemon not two that we're training up hopefully we can get Bill trained up close to level 30 so that he can battle by himself by the time we take on a new member to the squad, a sixth member to the squad. That's my game that's my goal anyway. That's the that's the, the plan here. So this slowpoke should die to a spark. Yeah, there we go. Overall though, the team's looking good. The team's looking good. We're 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 chugging along nicely. We're chugging along nicely. Ah, this mountain air is delicious. It's delicious. Yeah, it sounds like a whooper. Which is a bit of a... Bit of a... I, I wasn't expecting the whooper to come out. I'm not sending that. Bill uh, will obviously evolve as soon as he levels up as well. Which will be nice. So it'll just make it a little bit easier. Maybe you'll be able to take on the odd Pokemon here and there. Not Geo dudes, because I'm worried about self destruct. But if I come across like an Onyx or something, like this Ball Toy, I'd probably be happy to take it on with Bill if I was a War Turtle. But I'm not, I'm a Squirtle. Maybe not actually, it's all 26. I am a Squirtle, so I I will just swap out into Gax. No reason to uh, to risk anyone. We're just chilling together. We're just chilling together. I can't believe we're on episode ten already of this playthrough. I don't know, like I'm recording ahead and like bulk recording episodes, but still, ten episodes in. 
And I do. I, I, I'm. I am so glad that I did this. Uh, this second playthrough of the game after losing the first Nuzlocke. Because I really, I really want to challenge myself to actually complete this game as a Nuzlocke. I think you'll agree, though. I'm. I look over leveled here, but I'm really not. Because I've only battled all of the trainers. Uh, I did one grinding session before Cerulean City, before taking on um, our rival. And even then, I didn't grind to a higher level than his Pokemon. I was level 20, his highest was 21. So, this is just the natural evolution uh, experience curve of the game. So... Yeah, probably not helped by the fact we've only got five Pokemon, not six. Six Pokemon would obviously reduce the experience that each one was getting. But I just haven't found anything I want to go on the team. I can't help that. I can't help that. Give me some good mons. Give me some... Like, I, you know what? From the first playthrough, out of all of the Pokemon that we had in that first playthrough, I miss Baldi. The, the Doe Duo. That would fit in our team nicely right now. To have a flying type Doe Duo. It really would. But we've got an important evolution here. We've got Bill evolving into a War Turtle. Which is great. Look at the wings on his head. Teach it fly. Teach that thing fly. I think War Turtle should get wing attack. He just smacks things with his ears. Just okay. Hiker Clark sent out an Aaron, level twenty-five. Do you think that Bill can take this thing down? We do two shot. Oh God. Okay. Didn't do as much as I thought. <laughs> I was worried then. I thought, oh god, why? Why? Why me? See, it's good experience. Trap Inch. I'm not leaving it in on a Trap Inch. Trap Inch has got far too much attack power. Far too much attack power. We're going into Gax. Okay, he uses a special attack anyway, so doesn't even run that, that attack power. Right? Could have could have stayed in with Bill there. Could have stayed in with Bill. Oh, he's not laughing, he's got hay fever. I mean, I don't suffer with hay fever, but I, I know people that do, and it's debilitating, and I'm sorry to hear that you're so ill, man. You know, you're struggling, and I understand, and I'm, it's, 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 it's disappointing. It's disappointing for you. I know, I get it. I get it. Okay. So we've got to go ahead left. We've got to head west, out to Route 8. This will, of course, be a, uh, a new encounter once we get through this area. Oh, we, we're going to need cut though, aren't we? We are going to need cut. Unless Route 8 carries on over the other end, by in between Saffron and Fuchsia. Not Fuchsia. Saladon. Which I don't think it does. I think that's a different route. So encounters galore today. There's no encounter in Lavender Town. Which sucks. There's been an encounter in all of the cities. They've added grass in to all of the cities so far. But no encounter in Lavender Town. No grass added. And the only way you'll be able to get it, I feel, maybe you can fish. Maybe you can fish. We'll see how far Lavender Town goes down. As to whether we can fish.
Hmm. We'll have a look at that. We will have a look at that. But this Clefairy's minimising. Doesn't matter. Cute Charm doesn't matter either. Because, of course, that second hit doesn't rely on Cute Charm. Then I have to do a, uh, an attraction check there. Shall we go and see if we can fish down south? Making my way down south. No, Route 12. Right, I've got to check in the PC. What did we catch on that route to the... I, f I f forgot to get my uh, the town map off my rival sister, didn't I? Which is just unforgivable. Didn't we catch Ekins on to the right of... Route 11. Route 9 was given to us. Yeah. So Route 12 is a new encounter. I don't feel like there's going to be any grass around there. So let's go fish. Let's go fishing. We will check for any encounters. But I don't think there will be. 12. Oh... Oh, you fisherman. Fisherman Ned. Sends out a Goldeen. Level 25. Sounds like a job for polarity. Flail. I laugh in your flailing face. I don't know. Can you imagine, like, if you were flailing around and you, you accidentally hit a giant metal magnet like Polarity? That would hurt your face. Especially if you were just a fish. I'm just a fish. Flailing on a magnet. Level 28 Poliwag. See, we're not that overleveled now. Everything's gone up to like level 28s, level 29s, I think we've just encountered. So we're not that over leveled. <laughs> I'm not worried anyway, I just want to get through this game. I just want to make it through. I don't think there's going to be any any grass down here that have been inputted. I, could, I don't even... There's no landmass in which he could have put grass. So, we will have to just fish and see what we get. Which I'm happy to do. I'm happy to do. I think we can uh, we can get something good. I think we can get something good from fishing. I'm not sure what. But we will walk all the way down to the Snorlax just to see what's going on down here. Maybe you're not calling me a small fry. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. The fishing fool versus the Pokemon kid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is uh, this is a different route. It's got an octillery. This is going to be experience. Uh, it will have Aurora Beam. I'm pretty sure at level 27. Octillery will. Octazuka does a lot of damage, and our accuracy falls. Polarity. Ah. He crits! Oh! I can't believe he crits. That's karma. 
That's, I tell you what that is. That's Trevor coming back from the grave. That is Trevor coming back from the grave. And claiming the life of the one that I saved. In a cruel fashion. In the cruelest fashion. Oh. Wow. A touch. A touch too much. Turn around. I'm gonna have to dodge these trainers again to come back up here. Are they? They're, they're, are they? Is that gonna be a double battle? I wonder. Oh, I'm about to just end this couple. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, Gia and Jazz. Jazz. But I'm about to just end this couple. Um, I've got nothing that I can swap Bill out for, actually. Which is kind of scary. I'm not worried about Nikki. Nikki, Nikki will kill. But I've got nothing that wants to swap into an Edo King and an Edo Queen for Bill. So... This is scary. Ice Punch will kill this Nido King. Okay. Tail whip. Okay. I'm okay. We're all right. All, all of this, I've lost. I've lost a Pokemon. All of this because I wanted to go and check whether I could fish on this route when I already knew that I could. I, I, I was already aware. I was pretty. Sh no, I was looking for grass, and I was pretty damn sure that there was no grass on this route. And yeah, I walk all the way down here, and now I've lost polarity. Bill's trying to learn Protect. We don't need Protect. I've lost Polarity. I'm sad. We're going to get Encounters. Yeah, we've got we to dodge this guy. I just... I saw him turn. And I was a good two steps away. And I could have stopped. And I didn't. I didn't stop. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. This Poliwag's level 24. Bill can take it on. Bill can take on this po Bill, you're not taking on this Poliwag. Man. Ugh. Yeah, it's all just is so disappointing. It's just so disappointing. Crit Octazooka. Critical Octazooka. So... What have we got to replace that? To replace polarity? Oh no. Did <laughs> nothing. Okay, I got a little bit worried, but it did nothing. We've got um, Lazy the Vault Up. Which I'll be honest, I don't really want to use. I don't know why I don't want to use it. It just... Voltorb's just a Voltorb, isn't it? You know, it's it's not that good. It isn't. It's not that great. So, you know, I don't really want to use it. 
<laughs> We've got no polarity to deal with this thing. I'm not risking going into Bill for a Gyarados. I'm just going to Leaf Blade it. Kind of feeling like Ice Punch would have been a better option. Okay, that's a crit. But it won't do anything. We're okay. Man. Polarity would have been great for that. Stated, we can go and get an ink. <laughs> yeah. Oh, TM27 for return. Sorry, I got distracted by my phone there. We've got to go and lay polarity to rest. Crit Octazuka. I'm sorry, polarity. Look at that. You can go and join your friend. I guess it's naughty natured. Doesn't that reduce special attack? Its defense is higher than its special attack. Oh god, it's awful! Go on, get in the party, lazy. Get in the party, lazy. I don't even care. Disappointed. Disappointed. Right, let's go and get an encounter. Let's go and get an encounter. We can come and use the good rod. And get nothing. Pokemon's on the hook. What do we get? A horsey. Okay. Okay. I got a horsey. I, I'm fine with a horsey. Pretty sure there must be a way of getting a Kingdra in this game. I don't know where you'd get the Dragon Scale from, but there will be a way of getting Kingdra. So I'm not too fussed about that. Maintains balance using its tail, which is wound up like a coil. It may spray ink from its mouth. Give a nickname to the captured horsey. I will like to give a nickname to the captured horsey. I am going to nickname... Oh, we had... Um... Okay, so in Pokemon Platinum Taglock, we had two Kingdras. Okay, no, we did. We had three. We had a horsey and two Kingdras. Um, the horsey that was in the squad we call, I called Sheldon after the guy, after the one in Finding Nemo. This is a, a female though, so I can't call it that. Um, I'm not a huge fan of H2O as a name, but I called one of them Jetstream. So I'm going to call this Jetstream. Because it's a... Uh, I don't know. I kind of like that as a name. Kind of like that as a name for a horsey.
We're going to put it away. We're also going to go and get our Paris back out. We're going to get to Tochikasu out. Because we're going to need cut for the uh, the next encounter that we're going to get. So Jetstream can go in the box. And Paris can come out. We're just going to switch train for the rest of this episode, and then I will have to have a grinding montage at some point. I will have to have a grinding montage at some point. Gamer Rich sends out Slack off. Just to train up these two mons. We're also going to get given an Eevee, aren't we? In Celadon. Unless, like, um, Dreano changed it. Which is not entirely impossible, but I kind of hope we get an Eevee. Everyone knows what my favorite Pokemon is, so uh, I really hope that we can get an Eevee. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure as well, Eevee will evolve into Espeon through a Sunstone, into Umbreon through a Moonstone. So, we've just not got a strong enough attack to take on this Vulpix. But at the same time, nothing else really wants to take it on. Okay, Imprison is going to do nothing to me. Oh, okay, we do, we do two shot. So that's good. Okay, so Bill's good. Bill's decent. A water gun is still a two shot when it's four levels higher than me. So Bill's pretty good. I'm happy about that. He's missed the big chance. Also, I say um, my favourite Pokemon's Espeon, so we'd have to go for that. But we're now down an electric type, and our first encounter in this route is a Meowth. We're now down an electric type. And obviously... Eevee's very versatile. Eevee's very versatile. If I go and collect this Eevee before I do the grinding... That was a crit. And I'm gonna just gonna heal. Don't think I need to worry about. But yeah, if I if I was to get in this Eevee, then I don't need to train up lazy. Because Jolteon's infinitely better. Infinitely better. And I will sacrifice Espeon. My chance of having an Espeon. Just to get a Jolteon that can go on the team over a Voltor. Without a doubt, I will sacrifice that. Okay, so Meowth can join the squad. Uh, what do I call a Meowth? It is a female Meowth. Um, what's there a... I'm trying to remember if Meowth's girlfriend in the anime. Meowth's girlfriend. Meowzy. Now, that, if that isn't random Pokemon trivia... Meowzy was the nickname of Meowth's... Well, the, the, the Meowth that Meowth fancied. And is the reason that he can talk. No, get out of the way. I don't, I don't want to battle. No, no, no. Mm. I don't want to battle. I really do just want to get... Hi. 
I just want to get get across here, just to uh, grab myself this Eevee. I want to see if he's here. I also want to see if this is a different route down here. So the last one was Route 12. This is Route 7. Now, we've definitely not been on a Route 7. So we can get an encounter here. Go into Saladon. So this is my important thing that I want to do here. I just want to get encounters here. We are, this is going to be a little bit of a longer episode because I want to get all these encounters so I can choose a team before I grind. Obtained an Eevee. Okay. And we can evolve this into a Jolteon. So this is going to be a Jolteon. Uh, so what name do I want to give a Jolteon? So we've had a Vaporeon in the past called uh, Multitool. We had uh, Twilight the Espeon in gold. Didn't we have an Eevee at some point in Prism that we evolved? I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember Prism all that well. Jolteon. Ah, uh, because I, I, I kind of wanted to go along the lines of um, the anime. You, the, you know what? You name your Eevee in Pokemon Go to evolve it into a certain Pokemon. But it's just Sparky. Which is a bit boring. Not like um, the Vo Vaporeon, which is Rainer. Ra Rainier. Rainer or something. Uh... Jolteon. I have no idea. I have no idea. So, when I have no, no idea, I normally just name a random, a, a random name. But now I can't. It's something electric related. Something speed related? I don't know. It doesn't really fit, but I kind of like the name Photon. So, we're going to have Photon the Jolteon. Which I will evolve before the next episode. But before that, we are gonna we're gonna get our two new encounters. One in Saladon, which we'll see if there's any grass in Saladon. I'd like some grass in Saladon before, rather than uh, having to fish. We've got another sunstone. I like giving us sunstones. This is gonna be a moonstone. Oh no, it's an ether. I thought it was gonna be a moonstone. Just kind of saying, look what you could do with your Eevee. And it is so tempting. You don't re you don't know how tempting it is. There is grass in Celadon. Four squares of grass. Our first encounter of Celadon City is... A Ledian. Okay. Okay. Hmm wasn't what I wanted. Wasn't what I wanted. But, it doesn't matter. Well, we don't do anything. Gladian's especially defensive, isn't it? Just gonna speed through this process a bit. Try and catch it now. I don't have many balls. Okay, we got Ladium. So I didn't even didn't even look. Did not even look. A female Ladian. 
female ladybird. What do you call... Is there a ladybird in Bug's Life, by any chance? Or is it a male? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm looking for Bug's Life. It's just... Because I've never... Well, it's been a long, long time. Francis. Francis. Oh, we already have a Francis. No, we've got Fran. I don't like it. A ladybug. A ladybug. What do you call a ladybug? That's how you spell symmetry. Because aren't ladybirds symmetrical? Symmetry. Yeah. Aren't ladybirds symmetrical? I think they are. So we're going to go with sy symmetry. Last encounter for this episode, last thing we're going to do in this episode is get... Oh, we've got a Duke's Claws on Shroomish. Means we can get another encounter. Nope. Mess that up. I'll say, please get away. I don't want to take a Mega Drain to the face. Taylo. Haven't we... Oh, no, we don't already have a Taylo. That was in the, the, the first run-through, wasn't it? Or am I just thinking of another Nuzlocke entirely? Am I thinking of the Ruby Retirement Lock? Yeah, we had, we had one in Ruby Retirement Lock. Wow, okay. So, Taylor. I really thought we already had one. I must be thinking back to Ruby. Okay. So we can catch this Taylor. Which is a good mon, actually. You know what? Taylor could go in the squad. We might have our first full team of six. Because we do want... I do want a flying type. I do want a flying type in the squad. And i am not got a problem with having a Sweller. Dislikes cold seasons. They migrate to the lands in search of warmth, flying over 180 miles a day. Now, we always name Taylor Swift, of course. Alright, and that's that then. That's the end of that. So we are in... We are going to have a grinding montage before the next episode. Which will be fun. And, uh, yeah, we, we... We'll have that grinding montage. We'll be back with a full team... Oh, let, no, let's do, the, let's do the team building whilst we're here. Let's do the team building whilst we're here so you guys can see it. Oh, we've nearly got a full box here. That's not bad. Lazy, you can get right gone. And I, I can say, Swift is going on the squad. He's level 25 already, so that's good. Toad Carso, back in the PC, mate. You are a cut slave and nothing more. And Photon's already level 30. So it probably means we've missed out on some good moves. But um, do we have that Thunderstone? Do we have a Thunderstone, should I say? We do. Use a Thunderstone on Photon. Which is, of course, going to get us a Jolteon. Which, hopefully, we learn a move. 
because I want some electric moves. I want an electric move. We do have shockwave, don't we still? Trailing double kick. Excellent. I will take double kick. Uh, I'll get rid of growl for the time being. We've got bite. We've got quick attack. Okay, we just learned double kick. But we still have shockwave, don't we? In the in the the TM case. Yeah, we do. Alright. So I'm going to be back uh, next episode with a, a fully leveled up team. We'll get everybody up to level 30, I think. And uh, we'll carry on from there. So if you have enjoyed this episode of the Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke, please do leave a like down below. Comment and subscribe. I appreciate all of your interaction. You know that I do. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Stay brave, guys. How will I sit in silence? How will I be 